everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano, and we're back with another VEDA vlog. It might be a little windy, so I apologize. I'm trying to use my hand like there so it's not too for you guys. Because I am I'm back on top of a mountain again. I don't know if this is going to be kind of like a, a running theme or something with these VEDA vlogs, but there's a plane coming by too. You can kind of see it maybe somewhere. There's the plane somewhere. I can't find it disappeared. Oh, there he is. Found him finally. One day I'll learn how to work this thing. Uh, the sun's coming down. It's gonna. It's another one of those after work vlogs. It is day two of VEDA. And I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. I have no clue. I was thinking about it all day. I was like, do I talk about music, family, all kinds of any weird stuff? And none of it seems like it's right to do today. But I did notice that a lot of you liked, or at least commented, on how nice the park looked yesterday. So figured why not go out to another cool park, one that's close to home. I actually live on top of a place called Whitney Mesa. And this is the Whitney Mesa that I live in. So you can see like mountains and cool stuff all the way back there. And again, sorry, it's going to get windy. There's a big shadow on my face. Uh, but... I think so. Mountains all around. You kind of see them again. There's cool mountains everywhere. More mountains, mountains, and mountains. As I tackle my mountain, Veda, this thing. Um, and today I figured it would just be rambly. I'm going to be a rambly, rambly, rambly up here on top of this blustery, blustery mountain. It's so blustery. Oh, bother. That was my Winnie the Pooh impression. Um, yeah, it's okay. Actually, I do a lot of different voices. And you know what? That's actually one of the beta things that's going to be doing, that I will be doing coming up. It's going to do a whole beta vlog just on the different crazy voices that I do. Um, because I like doing voices. It's fun for me. I'm fun out here on top of a windy, windy mountain, but it's still fun. It's something I do. It's something I want to do. It's something I want to get more into. And I want to start featuring more on my channel. Voices. Cool, all the crazy voices in my head. Maybe I am a crazy person, who knows? No, not really. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just kind of wanted to share this cool view with you guys. You can see it again. Take a look around everything over there. It's a really neat view. There's me. And just to kind of really show you guys how close I am to this edge. right over here. Yikes, that is a pretty far drop. Look at that again. So yeah, I am right here on the edge of the end of this little mesa thing. And I actually, I think one of the other reasons I really like it is it reminds me of uh, the Disney movie Cars. The whole like Cadillac range, like where it all took place. There's this cool backdrop, um, and this looks actually an awful lot like it when you're down at the bottom. Maybe I'll go drive down there in just a second. I think I have some errands to run anyway, so I might as well go drive down there, shoot some quick video, so you guys can see what it looks like from the bottom, looking up at this cool place. So I will see you guys in just a second from way down there. Hey guys, I'm back. See, I told you I'd come back, but I'm back, and I am now. At kind of the bottom of the mesa, you can see it there. It goes up a little ways. In fact, there's even a building. Maybe I can see it. Is that it up there? That building right there. Ooh, look, I got really dark. But that building right there at the top of the mesa, I actually used to work there. So here's a little something about me. I work in a pharmacy as my main job, uh, making drugs. I think I don't know if I mentioned that before, but uh, yeah, I make drugs. But the good kind, the like real kind, like doing creams and injections and stuff like that. I work in a pharmacy, but that building up there used to be a really cool pharmacy called Green Valley Med that I used to work at a long, long, long time ago. And they're no longer in business. I left it to become an artist. Um, but uh, it's really cool. Actually, this is kind of a neat little bridge. Check this out. There's this neat little bridge. I'm on the Cattail Trail, I think is what it's called. But uh, yeah, it's... Uh, Kind of creepy bridge, actually. Now that I think about it, I don't know. If, I think there's water underneath me. There's like mosquitoes. 
there used to be all kinds of cool wildlife out here. Uh, when I worked in that pharmacy, is the whole reason I brought it up, I would sit and I was, I was able to stare out the window. And in the parking lot, we'd always see some really cool stuff. Uh, there'd be roadrunners that would come through. There was a family of quails that would always run by. So you'd see like two really big quails and then a bunch of tiny little baby quails kind of following along. And I don't know if we're going to see any wildlife out here today, right now. But uh, it's, kind of, it's really nice out here. The sun's going to be going down soon. You might hear some of those birds chirping back there. We are at the Coyote Loop. See it? It is a loop that is meant primarily for coyotes. I don't know what they would do out here. But let's, uh, let's go run around and find out. And let's see what these coyotes see on their loop. <laughs> now, if you look back, where is it? Where is it? Right up there. See those rocks right over there? That is actually where I was a little while ago. Bloop, up there. Um, when I was on top doing the first part of this vlog. So the second part's going to be from down on the bottom. And it's, it's just cool looking. All the neat little rocks and stuff up here. Take a look. There's like crazy... Look at all the holes in those rocks over there. It's really neat. Like, to see what the elements have done to this little part of nature over, you know, millions of years. And it's cool because, like, we're here we're in the desert, but because of where this all is, like, a lot of the rainfall actually hits right back here where this is. And when I was in that building, Green Valley Med, when it would rain, I'd actually see a waterfall start right here, and it would just poof, all come down and get crazy. And now you can see it's all green. That must be due to the waterfall. Oh, look, we're here. There's another cool little marker. Hopefully it's not too windy for you guys. Looks like I'm still on the coyote loop. There's a coyote loop. See right there, it says coyote loop. And this one is the plateau path. Let's take the plateau path and see what happens. So the plateau path, just to show you guys what it looks like, it actually kind of goes up a little ways into this little back area. And it doesn't say it's a loop though, so who knows if we'll come back alive. Let's find out. Um... And again, maybe we'll see some cool wildlife or something neat. I don't know. I know there's neat animals that live out here. There's coyotes that live out here, which is kind of cool. That might be why they gave them a loop. So they could do something with them. Oh, what the hell? I'm going to get winded. Oh, I'm definitely not in the world's best shape to be climbing around. But that's actually kind of a cool side product to this whole Veda thing is that here I am. I'm actually getting out a little bit more. This is kind of a perfect storm and it worked out really well because my kids, I have two little boys, they are, uh, <laughs> they're spending time with their mom. So it's spring break for them. They get to go hang out, which means I don't have to rush home immediately. So I have time this week <laughs> to walk around and do these vlogs. Next week's going to be a little bit different. We'll see how I make that happen. Well, there's a dude up there jumping. See, there's, you maybe barely see him. They're way up there. Kind of running around. Nah, I can't really see him. <laughs> but there's two little heads back there. There's some neat rock formations. Take a look at those. They're like just balancing rocks. Look like they're kind of going to fall over. Let's climb up this hill right here and see what we can find. Again, I'm probably going to get winded. I'm not used to climbing this much. I've already done one mountain this week. <laughs> here I am doing a weird, crazy little plateau thing Ooh. <laughs> don't want to lose my footing it's kind of neat back here there's more creepy rocks there's a weird little cave thing back behind me actually goes in kind of far down there <laughs> I don't know if I'll go back that far I probably should just head back now but there's a neat little like <laughs> it's kind of cool that there's these little patches of nature not too far from the big city Maybe you guys can see those people <laughs> way over there. Barely, you can kind of see them right there. Little tiny people on top of that mesa. Maybe one more time. There, there you can barely see them there up there. That was me. That was me <laughs> talking to you guys just a little while ago. So, cool. There it is, full circle. I am really tired now. <laughs> All of this mountain climbing and... Vedaing on the second day of Veda has got me very tuckered out. So I'm going to let this one wrap up. We're going to call Veda day two over with. 
Guys, I hope you like seeing this little mini nature walk that just kind of spontaneously happened. Let me know what you thought. Do you have any areas like this around your neck of the woods that you like to go run around in? Did you like seeing the cool naturey stuff? <laughs> Here comes another plane. This time I caught it, first time. There is plane, 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 plane. Well, guys, thank you so much. Maybe you can hear me over that plane. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more weird, random stuff throughout the rest of the month. Tomorrow's Veda vlog is actually going to be from my little art studio. We're going to talk about the artsy stuff that I do. So make sure you're subscribed and you stay tuned for that. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing weird, random stuff. Like seeing me do different stuff here on the Dano channel because this is way different from most of the stuff I do. Usually it's family trips, painting, Disney stuff. This is kind of Disney related only because it reminds me of cars, but that's it. Very, very little Disney relation in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later. I love you guys. Goodbye. Finger to the camera. Whoops.